Hey guys, what's up? It's Quad here, and it's been a while since I've got to say that because I've had a lot going on in my life, so I apologize for that first off. Within the last couple weeks, I had spring break, which lasts about a week. I was able to edit my Modern Warfare 2 uh, montage number one over that weekend though. So I uploaded that. If you guys missed it, make sure that you go watch it. I will have it as one of the end screen videos and it will also be the most recent upload on my channel. So you can go check that out. Make sure you do if you haven't seen it because it was one of my best videos so far. And this past week, it's not exam week yet, but for my major, I'm an advertising major and we have our campaigns class or I'm in my campaigns class for my advertising major right now. And we are actually taking part in like a national competition for like advertising to try to like uh, become basically what it is, is we uh, make a simulated advertisement for a company and then everyone competes and then they pick the best one. And it's like, it's really good for like job resumes and stuff like that. So I don't mind it at all, but we, uh, we had the deadline today, this Friday. So we had to get our stuff done by like Thursday and basically, if I got like maybe 12, 15 hours of sleep total throughout the entire week because I just have been through a lot. I've I've been playing the maps a good bit. It's just when I have been uh, able to play, I've just been like too busy to record. Like it's it's late. I'm not playing that much. I'm just trying to enjoy myself because I have a roommate, so I can't really make a video when he's sleeping. So anyways, there's been a lot that's been going on since I was last making a commentary. They have Daybreak that came out. They have the variety map pack that came out. They had all the new supply drops being the, um, what's it called? Operation Lion? Yeah, Operation Lion Strike and the uh, Shamrock and All operations. They have that that came out. And they also have stuff for the uh, Daybreak map, just like they did for Christmas Crash, if you guys are not aware of this. Because I didn't really even see anything be said about it. I just heard it through word of mouth. And as you can see there, I am only 16 kills off of getting the Prism camo for my snipers. So I'm going to go get that right now for this video. Then once I finish that, I'll make sure that I uh, include some gameplay of the variety map packs afterwards. And you can see right there, uh, I already have it for the SMGs because I play the map packs a lot. And I got 30 UAVs pretty easily. So that's really the only really easy one you can get. SMGs are some of the guns that are like really easy to get kills with. So I'll just be using those also to get the kills really quickly and just to show you guys what the camo looks like anyways. Um, let's see if we can get something other than hardpoint. If not, I'll just play that. Okay, hardpoint it is. I don't think I'll include it in this video. I think uh, within the next couple days, maybe at some point this weekend, I'll upload a video that has a bunch of highlights that I've gotten uh, during the uh, map packs coming out and stuff like that. Just because, I don't know, I feel like this video just needs to be a video on its own and there's not really going to be much room for me to fill all that stuff in. So I'll just include that later. But here is the prism camo if you are wondering what it looks like. I think it looks really amazing. I have the whiteout uh, kit for the submachine guns also. And it looks pretty nice on there too. Basically all it is is you take the black part on the whiteout and you replace that with prism. So that looks pretty clean. But let's... Let's get into this so we can get these kills done with and go see what this camo looks on a sniper. One thing I really like about Hardpoint as a map, at least for this, is that everyone rushes towards the objective. So it's pretty easy to uh, just crack the kills up. And in case you guys were wondering to get Prism camo, it is any kill, like that nade kill that I just got right there, or any kill shoot kills. I'm 99% sure that any type of kill counts towards it so you don't have to worry about having to get uh, gun kills and stuff like that oh shit where are they at where are they at damn I wasn't even going for head there I'll fucking take it though if you're wanting to get a lot of kills on this map I suggest just staying around this area right here with a submachine gun it just racks up kills so easily because some of the biggest gameplays that I've gotten on this map just to like get kills to be able to work towards Prism is just hanging around there. So if you're like ha having trouble with this map because it is a pretty like it's not a popular map by any means. And also you guys might have noticed I am at level 53 for 12th prestige so maybe within this video I'll be able to prestige. I I don't think so, but by the time that I make my next video, you might see me be 13th prestige by then. Because it is double XP this weekend, I do not think that I mentioned that. 
So this is like the perfect time to try to like grind out the prism camo and grind out some XP. Just get all that stuff done. Only two more kills and I should have it. I'll just back out as soon as I get it. Just up oh, here we go. And that should be it. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the game now. It doesn't really matter that much to me. So um what am I in the mood for? Do I wanna play the map packs for TDM or Dom? Um let's go TDM. So that way I can maybe get two games in, maybe play two of the maps. I had to back out of that real quick because uh, I just realized I didn't even put the prism camo on. I was just that excited to go. So here is what the prism camo looks like with the chalk. That is one of the things that I'm probably going to be running with it with. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to run it with uh, no kit on it. Actually, do I want to run assassin? Nah, I think it looks better just with no kit. So let, let's go in here real quick. See what it looks like under some light. It looks pretty nice. I wish it would be maybe a little bit more metallic rather than it looks like it is just like a... Uh, it looks more matte in this angle. Maybe when it's out in the sunlight in the actual map it looks a lot better. But either way I think it's a really nice camo. So let's, uh, let's go back into... Actually no I was going to play TDM. Let's go back in the uh, variety map pack tedium. But as I was saying, um, if you are wanting to like get the most out of the maps, I would play Ground War because you are going to be finding a lot of people that also want to play the maps. So they'll be trying to vote for whatever the map is, whether that would be trying to get it from random or just voting for the map itself there. I would say that Kill House is the only map that is worth it to play it for the 66 because it is just a fast, such a fast paced map. So let's check this. Yeah, see it's still like kind of a map finish there. It's not really metallic. I wish it would be a little bit more like that, but I mean, it still looks really nice. Martyrdom, nice. Now one thing that you guys might not know about Kill House, especially if you didn't play the original game, is that Kill House was originally, I might be wrong on this, I know that it was available in Cage Match, and I think it might have been available in Free For All also, but it was not available for 6v6 or any of the game modes there prior. It's really pissing me off that they have Juggernaut on, but anyways, yeah, so it wasn't available on 6v6, and I didn't really play anything other than 6v6 back on the game, so... This is honestly, it's more like a brand new map to me, so I think it's really great that they uh, put that in. I would say that it's pushing a little bit that they have it on Ground War. Yes, this map that is the second smallest map on the game, I would say. It's it's probably in between Shipman and Wet Work within that range. It is in the 9v9 Ground War playlist, and it is not that fun to play. Like, it, it, it is, it is fast-paced for that. That's for sure. You can get a lot of lineups. I've, I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of potential clips so far on this map. I nearly hit a uh, plus twenty actually earlier today. I tried to wall bang the third shot or the fourth shot, and it wasn't there. And I didn't see that there was a guy right there, anyways, that I could have got the shot off on. But I still got the split quad feed. I'll play that here. And I also had a hit marker triple that was a collateral with a hit marker on a juggernaut as the third person. And you can see me getting killed by the guy and his health is at least like halfway down. So it should have been a triple if it wasn't someone using jug. But there's not really too much that you can do about that. I will play that here. And that's basically all that I've really had for the maps. I've had a, I've had a clip or two, but they've been outside of the map packs because I have been playing Ground War because I am more of a Ground War player. I get the most fun out of that. 
here we go we have Chinatown now coming up I'm gonna at least try to get a little bit of gameplay on each of the maps it, it depends on how long this video takes I don't want it to be too long I'm gonna be cutting it up a lot but I'll, I'll see how much I can get into it you guys will find out so one thing that I've noticed is there are a, a lot of people who maybe did play COD 4 but haven't played the map packs so I'm gonna be trying to like tell you guys about some of the potential clip spots right here this is a pretty good spot. Their main spawn points are down there. They walk down that street, come over here, and they also sometimes go down that hill. They can like just go all over the place. Right here is a old, really key spawn trap point where people would just head glitch that car and look back into that corner, and you could get all types of lineups. I've at least hit like three or four triples, I'd say, just in that spot alone. And see, spawn here again. I'm not sure if it works that well in this game. I haven't played in general enough to find out but I haven't played this map like nearly enough to know that but that's at least how the spawns worked on the original game because we all know that the spawns are a lot different on this game so it might not be the exact same thing no 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 that was almost really bad you guys probably know what I was trying to do there. I was trying to make sure that when it hit the ceiling, even though this is a, like, a risen ceiling, that's why it was a little harder. And I tried to get, try, tried to kind of get it off the windowsill some there, but it nearly backfired on me, so that was too close. So if you guys are interested at all at getting Prism, I would suggest definitely getting it, like, while you can. I think the map will be available for another week or so. And just like the uh, Christmas Crash camos, once this map goes away, you won't be able to get the uh, camo at all. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this map is extremely slow to play on for 66, which is why I was suggesting to play it on ground where, because this has just been lasting for way too long right now, and I'm honestly just ready for it to be over with. Well all right, so we're done with that now. Honestly, I was about to back out halfway through, but I figured I'd just finish the game out. There's really no reason not to, but that that was Chinatown. Chinatown is an amazing map for ground war for 66. It's all right. I'd, I'd compare it to something like something like Ambush, maybe along the lines. And I'd honestly even say that Ambush is better, though, with some of the spawn traps that you can get on that map. Um, I'm going to vote Broadcast just because I haven't showed you guys Broadcast. They'll probably vote Kill House, so... I'll just see here. And as you guys can see here, it looks like it is going to be <laughs> Kill House, with me being the only vote not to play Kill House. And honestly, I prefer it for 66 anyways. I just wanted to get the map variety in this video. But I'm sure you guys will see plenty of broadcasts from me down the line, especially when I try to play Ground War some more. So, since I didn't get to show you a full game of Kill House before, I'll, I'll show you this full game before I end the video up. And honestly, Creek is just... It's, it's a map... <laughs> It's it it's a map. I wouldn't say that it's 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 not that good of a map. I'd say it's about the same level of uh I'd say it's about even with Overgrown. Maybe maybe Crash, but nah. I'd say Chinatown's about even with a uh, Crash because it's really good in sniper lobbies, but it's just okay for normal game modes. And I'd say that Creek is about even with Overgrown if you want a like a map comparison based on how fun it is to play as a sniper. One thing that I would suggest if you do play uh, Kill House is I would suggest using an ACOG if you are good with it because this is a smaller map so it's pretty obvious that an ACOG is one of the more efficient weapons to use on here. I just honestly forgot to put the uh, Prism Camo on my ACOG class so I do not have it on for this and I didn't really feel like going back to change it. And honestly I, I've been doing pretty good with a reg scope recently so there's really no reason not to do it. If you notice from my gameplay, this building right here is like the choke point of this map. You see a lot of people just running through there. You get a bunch of the lineups. So for my videos personally at least, I will be running through this side pretty much all the time if I have an opportunity to. I also feel like the other side is a lot more out in the open. Like there's someone that's sitting right there trying to kill me. Someone right there. You can head glitch both of those walls, I believe. Enemy UAV is airborne. Actually, no, you can't head glitch that wall. It's on the other side that you can head glitch. Yeah, my team's like loading through here, so honestly, I. Oh my god, I got flashed there. 
I'm gonna stay towards the middle a little bit though. So as you play the map more and more, you'll notice that there are some nice lines of sight. Honestly, as I said earlier, this is like a new map to me, so I don't even know all of the amazing li lines of sight yet. You can see the flash off of my face. That's how bad it is right now. So really with Kill House all it depends on is just like shipment. If you can get a nice lobby on Kill House it'll be extremely fun to play. If this keeps on happening it gets frustrating. It's it's exactly like shipment in that regard. See that guy has found out there's a nice line of sight. I actually remember that. It's pretty good. Okay so that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Sorry that I wasn't able to make videos for a while, but I will try to be uploading really consistently now. I'm at least going to aim for once every two days now, at least for the next week or so, just so that I can get you guys some more videos. If you guys enjoy the video, please, please subscribe for more videos in the future. Hit the like button. And anyways, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This has been Quad, and I will see you guys later. Messing with the team.